When you live at a higher standard and you work hard, you set a good example, you eat right, you try hard, you put the right things in your brain, you work to become a better human, the best thing that comes of that is not your own personal success. It's who you inspire with that success. All right, welcome back, y'all, to Friday Thoughts, hashtag control the controllable. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, East Tennessee is just doing its thing with summer storms, and um, we're not getting any of it. We're, it's uh, going all around us. We're not getting any water, so we've had to, to water uncontrollably, and it's kind of a frustrating thing, but it's a blessing at the same time when you do get the rain. So um, quick, quick thought um, right now because I'm in 75 hard, phase two, and... I went with, now if you're not familiar with 75 hard, it's a program challenge, uh, whatever. I don't know what the heck that noise is. Is that a bird or a frog? What the heck? Anyways, 75 hard is uh, created by Andy Frisella. Uh, basically, it's, a, it's not a fitness challenge. It's not a diet challenge. It's none of this stuff that you hear mainstream media um if anything it's a mental toughness thing that you're going to go through right uh it's 75 days um you complete tasks each day for 75 hard just the basic it's two workouts two 45 minute workouts one of which has to be outside in the elements so you could do one in the gym but your other one's got to be outside or you could do both outside the point is you're supposed to do it outside so that way if it is raining if it's too hot if it's snowing it's supposed to force you to get the stuff done anyways, right? If you know you have work to do and you know you have to complete a task, you got to do it regardless because conditions are never going to be perfect. So, and then with those two workouts, the 45 minutes, they have to be at least three hours apart. So you could do your first workout at 6 a.m. and you're done by 7 a.m. You can't start that second one until 10 a.m. Because otherwise people would just clump them together because it's nice and convenient and then I can get everything done in my day and move about my day. That's the point of putting on three hours apart is because it's supposed to stretch it. Also along there, you're supposed to read 10 pages of a motivation leadership type book, anything that's going to better you. Um, no alcohol. Uh, you're supposed to stick to a diet, not a specific diet. Whatever diet works for you. It could be Weight Watchers. It could be Atkins. It could be Keto. It could be anything, whatever's going to work for you. Andy knows that not every body type is the same, and that's why he created it that way for you to chug along with your own diet and uh, respectfully do your own work. Um, so also along there, we've got drink a gallon of water a day, which is not hard, um, but the bathroom thing becomes a challenge, um, making sure you're near your bathroom because sometimes sometimes after you're chugging, you know, and uh, that, you know, 32 ounces finally hits you got to be quick. You got you got to find your nearest restroom to get to. So that's always a fun challenge. Uh, so you got your two workouts. You've got your water. You've got your reading. No alcohol. No cheat meals, and your diet to stick to. And then you got to take your picture. You got to take a picture a day just of your progress. You don't have to share it. You don't have to post it anywhere. If you use the 75 Hard app, you upload it to there just to keep track because it shows you. you can go back and find comparison shots. You don't have to share it anywhere if you don't want to, but it's just for you to take a picture so that way you're forcing yourself to take a picture and then you can look back at day one and see that change. Now, the picture sneaks up on people. I know a lot of people that have failed just simply because of the photo. The photo is the first thing out of the gate for me. I get out of bed, that's the first thing I do is take a photo. Why? Because you look your best in the morning anyways because that's the best time to weigh yourself and everything anyways because you've been asleep and your body is just not bloated with a ton of water and everything like that. So my water and my reading and one water bottle is done right when I wake up from bed. Right when I get out of bed, I'm good to go. I get those done. That checks those off. Then I usually head to the gym for my first workout and I feel pretty good about that. Now phase one adds some extra steps and some extra challenges to check off. Phase two, you can start you have to wait 30 days before you can start phase two. You can start phase one right after you finish 75 hard, and that's phase one, phase two, phase three is only 30 days each, 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 each. Did I just say that? They're each 30 days. So you can do 75 hard, roll straight into phase one with another 30 days. So you're actually doing 105 days, or you can take a break. You can start it whenever you feel like it. But in between phase one and phase two, there has to be a minimum of 30 minute break just to take your foot off the gas, let you fall off the wagon a little bit, and then try to get going again. Now, phase one does add those extra steps and challenges. Phase two goes right back to regular 75 hard. So that's where I am at right now. I'm 
day 11, day 12, I don't know. I take it day by day right now and I check off my boxes. I'm just in regular 75 hard. Don't have to add the extra shower, the cold shower or um, the power, extra power list activities or anything like that yet. Phase three has to start 30 days prior to you starting your first 75 hard. So we started 75 hard, it was either August 31st or September 1st. So I have to start phase three on August 1st, regardless. Um, so I went with a strategy that a lot of people have talked about and they're like, hey, like I just kind of wait until the end towards phase three more so that way I get rolling in there with momentum, you know, and then I take a little break in between and then I'm right back on it. So that's kind of the strategy I went with rather than knocking it right out of the gate because summertime does get dangerous. We like to get comfortable. We like to eat. We like to drink. We like to have fun, right? And let loose. So with starting it when I did and being, you know, day 11 or 12 right now, I'm going to end somewhere just after the middle of July. So I'm going to have a little two week cushion in there, um, maybe a little less before I have to start on August 1st. Now where that is dangerous is coming up on day 11, like finishing day 11, day 12, you're going to get to a point where, and actually I'm there, I'm probably there right now. I can't fail. If I, if I were to miss a step of my day and fail phase two, because normally you would just go back and you would restart that phase again. I don't have a cushion to like, I don't have, I can't start a phase two and make it to phase three and then finish by the anniversary of starting 75 hard. So that's the only issue with going with this strategy. But I do like it because once you get in this cycle and this this mode, like I'm fine. Like I just I just murder my day, I feel like. I have so much time in my day and I get all my tasks done and everything and I still have time in my day enough to come do podcasts and roast beans and take care of chickens and all kinds. You have plenty of time in your day. We, we tell ourselves these excuses that I just don't have time for it. I work. I work too. Like, Y'all got to stop bullshitting yourself. You got plenty of time. You just don't know it. And once you realize how much time you actually waste, it's kind of disturbing and disappointing and it really, really bums you out. So that's kind of, that's why I stay on 75 hard and keep going through this. This is my first time through the live hard program where you actually go through those phases. A lot of people just do 75 hard. Babs loves just doing 75 hard. She takes a break, goes right back to 75 hard because it keeps her mentally trained and mentally focused. And at the same time, you are going to get physical results because you are working out twice a day. You are watching what you eat. You aren't drinking alcohol. Like it does work, but it's, it's a mental game. And, and it, when you get into a position where you need to get stronger mentally, the best thing you could do is 75 hard. So that's, that's where we're at right now. But I wanted to talk about a test day really quick. We had a recent trip to Seattle. Tay and I got up for her soccer game. Um, we were going to, we had our flight booked a couple days out. There was an issue where if they lost their soccer game, uh, we could be able to get out of there early. So we're going to try to get out of there early, right? So we ended up, um, we had her soccer game that day. Uh, we had to be to the airport. I think the flight left at like midnight. It ended up getting pushed to one. So we were like, whatever, we got, we got time to do stuff around. So I checked off 75 hard for that day. So now this next day, Sunday, we were going to get on a plane at midnight and we had to fly to Charlotte, which would get us to Charlotte at 9 a.m. Eastern time. But like I said, those flights got delayed. So it ended up getting us to Charlotte at 9.30 a.m. And we had a connecting flight to Nashville that we missed. So that day started and we're already at Charlotte at 9.30 a.m. Stuck in an airport. I can't get out of it, right? Because we have a possible... Um, Standby list that we can get on at 11.15, so we have to wait for that, see if we can make that. If not, then our next flight is one. That gets us back to Nashville, which takes us back an hour. That gets us there at 2 p.m. Nashville time. Then we have a two and a half hour drive back home, which gets us home at 4.30, but you have to add the hour time change back on, so that's 5.30. So I am in the airport stuck, and I can't go outside to get an outside workout done, right? So this is where you have challenge days, right? And you got to... You have to realize what you need to get done in that day and find a way to make it happen, right? Like I said, there's no quit in this right now. Like I, my back's up against the wall. I did it on purpose. There's no quit. I got to figure this out. So I got a quick workout in my 45 minutes. I did cardio in that airport. Charlotte is a huge airport. 
plenty of room for cardio. Got that in just before the waitlist flight, which I found out we didn't make. There was one one seat available, and he said, "Hey, yeah, if your daughter wants to go ahead to Nashville and you want to stay back, cool, no problem." I'm like, "Who would do that? Like, why would I send my kid by herself to Nashville and then I would wait and she just wait in an airport for me? No, it's dumb." So, got that workout done. Obviously, I could control my water. I got my water started. Didn't want to drink too much water because, again, you got to get on a flight, and I don't want to be that guy getting up and down and going to the bathroom. Granted, it was American Eagle, so you have those little double seats. It was just me and Tay, so I could have used that bathroom easy. So, got half the water done, got the first workout done, got the reading done, right? So, that leaves half the water, the diet, the no alcohol, um, and the second workout, which has to be outdoors, right? So, like I said, we land. Um, We don't get home here. There's an accident on the freeway, so we don't get home here until it's got to be like 5, 5.30-ish. Clencher, to add something else on, it's our anniversary. Babs is expecting to go to an anniversary dinner. She understands. She says, nope, we're not going to anniversary dinner. You need to do your workout. Let's just stay here. We'll get it figured out. I said, nope, I promised you anniversary dinner. I haven't seen you in a week. We're going. Like So we go, go to Knoxville, get the anniversary dinner done. Um, Connor's, absolute great place, awesome place come outside it's pouring rain thunderstorms are set in summer storms are here and they are alive and well in tennessee and it's pouring rain and we're not going to walk in a thunderstorm uh we've been we've been in that position before and it's just not worth the risk right so i'm like all right well i don't know we'll go home we'll go home and i'll figure it out so we get home it's probably eight o'clock no no it's a little bit later it's probably like 8 39 ish now by the time we get home storms have cleared out a little bit looks like there's a gap so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start walking. Bab says it wouldn't be our anniversary if I didn't walk with, if I stayed inside and didn't walk with you. So she hops out there and starts walking. The minute we start walking, it starts pouring rain again, of course. So we're out there. It's pouring rain. You start to hear thunder and lightning in the background. It's got to get done. So we just keep going. We knock it out, come back in the house about 10, 15. Um, by, all, by the time all was said and done, finally got to check that off, checked off the rest of the stuff and got it completed. Um, and that's just, it's just a test day. We all get these test days and it's so easy to take your foot off the gas and listen to those little voices in your head, as Andy calls them, the bitch voice, that's going to talk you out of something that you know you need to do. It needs to get done and you absolutely have to do it, but we're going to tell ourselves and gives ourselves so many excuses and so many reasons why, we're, you know what, I, this is silly, like I really need to do this. I can start this later. You know what, I, it's just, I need to grab something quick to eat. You know what, if I don't get this workout, I'll just, I'll work harder tomorrow or something. And that's just everything. Like we, we tell ourselves all these little compromises and that's the point of 75 hard is there's very like strict guidelines that he's laid out and how often we compensate and adjust things because we're uncomfortable. It's like people do 75 soft, like it floats around the internet, like, oh, it's only one workout because two workouts is so hard. Oh, it's only half a gallon of water because it's hard to drink a gallon of water. Like we just make all these lame excuses up rather than just executing and doing the tasks because I promise you, if you go through the full 75 hard, you will come out on the other side feeling like a million bucks and feeling like you could dominate the world. But if you want to take 75 soft, you want to take it easy and you want to take the, the shortcut, that's fine. That's I mean, whatever, good for you. You're still out there moving around, doing your thing. Great, but don't even compare yourself to someone that's done 75 hard. I knew so many people that have messaged me and said, I can't believe I went through this. Thank you so much for this. I'm gonna start it again next month. And people get hooked in the cycle because it benefits you. Like you realize how much it helps you. So that was kind of my my quick take is test days, you're going to get them. And not I'm not talking 75 hard. These are going to be test days at work and you got to get home and take your kid to, to school, but you're going to, uh, don't worry, you don't, you know, you don't have to go to school today. Daddy can't get you there. Or something. Like, you know, stuff has to be done, but you're, you're, you know, substituting things and just making excuses for why you can't get something done because you think something else needs to get done. When a lot of times you're going to look at yourself scrolling on the phone and you're going to be disappointed with yourself. So that was a quick take. Friday thoughts. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you all for the support. Please uh, share the podcast, review the podcast, give us comments. There's a lot of fun stuff coming up. We have a new program coming up with YouTube that will benefit a lot of y'all. If you're into Tennessee and the Tennessee area and learning more about Tennessee, it's going to benefit you. Uh, It'll be be a way for us to zero in and get... uh, get in better contact and have better communications with those people. Um, and it kind of filters out the rest of stuff. So appreciate y'all. Like I said, 
Uh, hope y'all are doing well. Enjoy your Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Whatever you're about to do, we're about to have the best holiday of the year. I know there's a small minority fringe that is uh, going to be offended by that holiday that's coming up, but Fourth of July is the best uh, holiday of the year, and I am so excited to celebrate it um, because our nation needs to be celebrated more than ever right now. Um, so that is it from East Tennessee, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day. Go out there and celebrate. Celebrate safely. And uh, we'll see you all next week.